Hello, it's Nikki Pava from Allegria Partners, and here I am today telling you about yet another interview I recently had, well, a few weeks ago before the holidays, with Melissa Malkin Weber, who is the sustainability director for a credit union called Self Help Credit Union, and it's a federal credit union, and they have branches in Florida, Illinois, and California, and ATMs in those states as well. So it's not everywhere, but you could still bank with them even if you're not in those cities or those those states. And I'll tell you a little bit about self-help. Self-help is a community development finance institution and nonprofit real estate developer. And it is incredibly unique. It is it is passionate about sustainability projects all over the country, and its mission is to create and protect ownership and economic opportunity for all. And what I really like about this credit union is that it has a focus on people who are underserved by conventional lenders. So people of color, women, rural, rural residents, and low, low wealth families and communities can benefit from being involved with the self-help credit union. And there they have what's called an environmental stewardship committee. And it started out as a voluntary campaign for, with a group of people who came together to help cut down on styrofoam in the bake, break room and help decrease everyone's paper usage. But they realized that they wanted to go deeper and they wanted to have more of an impact. So they raised some grant money and they, with that grant money, they're able to hire someone who is working with these on these initiatives full time. So that's Melissa. And she has a big job and she's doing really great. And so she's in charge of the voluntary efforts, but she's also in charge of all of the sustainability related initiatives of the credit union. And they have a really, a really great team. It's a very project based team. Everyone is working on projects that um, are outside of their jobs, but they influence and they contribute to their day to day jobs. And so while the environmental stewardship team doesn't have say over who or where the credit union lends money to, they have an, an indirect influence over the conversations that take place. So for example, if the credit union is in a talk about where or how to fund a low, some, uh, something in a, in a low income community, for example, there's most likely someone who's on that team of lenders who is also on the environmental stewardship committee who will go in and ask questions that are about economic justice, for example, or who can ask about the impact of the air quality in, in the area. And so they can take this information and have a more sustainable, more an environmental outlook on what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. And so I think that really creates a lot of posit positivity in, in what they create out there for the world. If you want to learn more about Self-Help Credit Union and their initiatives, go to www.self-helpcu.org org and consider it if you are looking for a new place to put your money so you can rest well at night knowing that your money is not going to go into projects that will hurt the planet this is a good place for that check it out thanks melissa and thank you everyone have a great day